Many years ago, I worked here in 1989 to 92, I think it was, or 93, as uh, vice principal and then principal. But I have been constantly coming to Barbados for various things, various reasons. And today is one such occasion where we close the curtains, so to speak, because, um, well, we are aging, as we said early on in our press release a year ago. We are aging and no new blood. And um, we felt that we have completed the work the Lord has called us to here in Barbados. And we sincerely hope that whatever we brought, the gospel values, that this will be carried through our school motto, Servium, that that spirit will dwell in the hearts of everyone who walks through these walls. Today I'm quite um, impressed by the number of past students who turned up to our celebration. Past head girls, they must be in their 80s, um, and it was interesting to see them coming out to say their farewell to this hall. A uh, beautiful mass, a beautiful celebration, and this is the way we would have wanted it to end. So we thank God for all. And as he leads us forward, we continue to count on his blessings. We don't say close or end, we say to new beginnings. Today is not a day I would ever have dreamt of. It is a very sad day in that we have to close our doors to many children who wanted to come to school here. But I am a woman of faith. I, God has a purpose for what is happening. And I also believe that besides the sadness we feel, uh, there's a deep sense of, of hope. And most of all, the legacy that we are leaving behind. I mean, the school is leaving behind a legacy of thousands of persons who have been to school here, who've caught the values that we stand for, who have um, are persons of integrity and persons of service. They are who they are. And it's because they've caught something here. And I that's the hope and the joy I have in my heart, along with the sadness of having to say goodbye. So I thank, I thank all the ones who have been here and enjoyed their time here. You know, our principal, Miss Wade, she would say that behind the walls on Collymore Rock, is the best kept secret in Barbados. She calls this school an oasis of peace and tranquility and care for individuals. So thank you Barbados. I have been here as a teacher and as principal for over 37 years. I was here as a student from the age of four and I went right through the secondary department as well. The announcement of the closure has been devastating for our students, for my teachers, and of course for me. Many of my teachers were former students and have come back to give service. However, we know that what we taught at St. Angela's gave our students a strong academic foundation on which they can continue to build. And we also know that we did our best to teach them values so that they can develop good characters because at St. Angela's we believe that character maketh the man. And we hope, we know that they will continue to shine their lights wherever they go and to pass on the legacy of this school.